All right, so I was talking to a sister friend and she was telling me about one of her friends who was like super disrespectful to her, put her in an unsafe situation, like completely violated her boundaries, et cetera, et cetera. And then my friend began to tell me, you know, some history about this woman as a point of, of context so that I could understand her character. And first of all, when I heard some of the things, my immediate thought was love and light to that sister because she is obviously hurting. My second thought was, well, it would make sense that X, Y, and Z happened because you're dealing with a wounded woman. You'll see my sister friend, she kept telling me that, you know, how hurt she is that her friend had the capacity to do this to her. Like, how could she do this to me? What I had to remind her of y'all is that a wounded person will wound you, period. Like, you know, when they say hurt people, hurt people, 100%. A hurt person is going to hurt you she was like oh but she has a lot of great qualities and that's why I keep her around and I was like girl Satan was also an angel like some of the most diabolical people on this planet also had some good that don't mean that that goodness is enough to stay in your life when a person is wounded okay they will wound you and what's interesting is that person will often tell you that but I do love you I do love you or I am your friend yes you love me from your wounded place you are my friend from your wounded place and I don't want that we are doing healthy healed and whole for the rest of our lives why would we want anything else and oftentimes our wounds draw in others who have similar wounds and what you might find is as you ascend as you heal you will no longer be in resonance with that person who's still wounded if they're not simultaneously doing their work you have to be able to let people vibrate out of your life if that happens not everybody is going to be able to come with you and it is not your responsibility to try to raise them up to where you are so let's start from the top a wounded person will wound you a hurt person will hurt you a person that is you know at a low vibration they're going to do what low vibrational people do and again it doesn't mean that they don't have good inside of them but it does mean that they don't need to be in your life anymore that is unless you're okay with being wounded as you heal you're going to peep some shit that you may have not seen before in the closest people to you even if you have had years in the game with this person, even if the connection is super, super deep, if they are hurting you, they need to go so that they can work on themselves and you can heal yourself. And if you decide to let that person stay in your life, then that's your business, fine. But I at least wanted you to hear this so that you could stop questioning your, in your mind, damn, how was that person able to treat me so fucked up? How was that person able to disrespect me like that? Lie to me, cheat, not hold space, like move in grimy ways. It's because of who they are is making certain that you are completely healing yourself so that you're no longer a vibrational match for those type of people and that you're completely healing yourself so that when that type of mistreatment pops up you will reject it and be like uh-uh no that's not for me i'm better than that i deserve more than that and i love me more than that okay wounded people are going to wound you i love you